Hello again and welcome. It's me and me. It's Joy. It's Joy Ruffin coming to you from the Sunshine State. So is it good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day, and maybe good night? But wherever you are, as always, sending you all the best. This week, for me, because it's the holiday season, it's a time of joyfulness and merry merry and happy happy and it's time for reacquainting and connecting and most people the majority of people are in the best of moods and are just eager for the spirit which is always good of the holiday season to come about so because we're all taking a little quiet time here and there and we're reading a story here and there and hearing information from other people reading this story again, having to share it with you. And it's about this, it's the difference between probably what you and I are doing and what lots of other people are doing. If you are in your own business, if you have your own business, if you have a, a business mindset or you're a very uh, entrepreneurial type person, then this story will appeal to you and you'll get a chuckle or two out of it. It's about uh, a guy in Modesto, I think it was California, who won the lotto and he won it twice. Now there's a vast difference between those who play the lotto every every day with the, I should say illusion and maybe I should quiet that down and say with the dream of having that big win and those who are building a business and have the vision of having a business that's very, very successful. But the point of the story is that he went in, he brought, I think they said, you must read the article, if this tentilates your imagination enough. And he bought uh, a $30, I think it was, a scratch-off ticket. And then he scratched it off. He brought several of them. They don't tell you how many you know. It's the media. They tell you just enough to tentilate your imagination. And one of those $30 scratch-off tickets, he won $1,000. Well, this time of the year, a dollar up to a thousand or more, it's good money. So then he decided, well, might as well take some of this, they didn't tell you how much, and I'll play again. And so he did. Well, my friend, if you've not heard the story, it's a good story. Then he won $10 million in the same day. Is that not phenomenal? So then the question for you, which I'm going to leave you with is, do you believe in luck? And good fortune? Or do you think that there is a means and a way and a way to perceive, look at, and receive luck? Is luck 99% preparation, 1% blah, 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 and so on? There's so many different interpretations for what luck is all about. I think it's a combination of both. I think a lot of it's karma. There are a lot of different. We could have a conversation on this topic and it could go on and on and on. For me, the point is, and I hope you'll consider it, is that, yes, there's nothing wrong with playing a lot of lotto and having a lottery mindset as long as you are focused in what you're doing that's going to bring you the success that you want because you've worked for it and you've earned it, which ultimately, just my thinking, will bring you better luck and results for everything that you want to do. So if you've not read that story and if you've not heard about it, do look it up, Google it, and read about it twice in one day, $1,000, and then $10 million. It's a good story. And I'll leave you with your food for thought to analyze it in the way that you think it works best for you. Until we meet again, sending your way best wishes, all the best, and take care of you first, and then you can look after each other. Bye-bye for now.